center takes the snap looks like it's a handoff going up the middle number 32 Lofton takes the handoff Lofton turns it in. touchdown and the Bisons are on the board and the Bisons side of the field the student section went crazy they are on their feet celebrating don't celebrate too soon gotta kick the extra point and the kick is no good Down and the extra point was missed by the Bison. The score 27 for Howard, 21 for South Carolina State. All set to kick for the kickoff. There's the kick. Clyde Bostick receives a kick at about the 16 yard line. Bostick. and he runs it all the way back. Clyde Bostick with an 84-yard kickoff return gets the Bulldogs back in the game. The score, the Bulldogs 27, the Bison 27. It is all tied up. There's the kick, and it is good. And a big play by South Carolina State. The score. The Bulldogs 28, the Bison 27. We're down to 10 minutes, 28 seconds to go on the clock. There's a kick. Drops down around the five yard line. Lofton feels the ball around the five. Big hit, taken down at the 30 yard line. That was Tom Evans on the big hit from Lonnie Murphy. First down and 10 for the Bison at their own 30-yard line. Nine minutes, 52 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. It has been big play after big play. Momentum is swinging both ways. Dow dropping back. Looks like it's a handoff to Pegues up the middle. Number 45, the fullback, Derek Pegues, takes the handoff. Pegues up the middle, taken down. That was Graham on the tackle. Looks like a gain of about four yards, maybe five. Down to eight minutes, 10 seconds to go on the clock. McDowell takes a snap, dropping back. Looks like it's another handoff up the middle. Lofton takes the ball. Lofton up the middle. Lofton breaks the tackle. Stacked up, taken down by Tom Evers after some tough running down to the 45-yard line. He was dragged down by a 
host the Bulldogs. Looks like he's got the first down by nose. First down and 10 for the Bison at the 45-yard line. McDowell under center, twins right. Motion to the left. Tight end swings to the left. Omar Ellaby and Pop Tyson slides over. Tom Evers covering the A-gap. <laughs> Takes the snap, heavy pressure coming from Kelly from the outside. McDowell dropping back. McDowell looking for a receiver and he's got some receivers open. McDowell looking to connect with number 27, McGee. Dangerous pass in traffic. Incomplete pass. Bounce off his back. Second down and 10. The Bison come out. Five wide receivers spread. All spread out. The pressure is mounting. The Bison down by one point. McDowell in the shotgun. He takes the snap. Looking for a receiver. Everybody's all covered. McDowell under heavy pressure. Looking for a receiver. And he's got a receiver open. McDowell looking to connect with McGee. Dangerous pass. Very dangerous pass. Intercepted by Pop Tyson. Pop Tyson intercepts the ball. And he runs it back for a touchdown. Bulldogs on the board, and the Bulldogs will get away with a win on the back of Pop Tyson. And Coach Ronald Baker was furious over on the sideline at McDowell, bringing that pass over off of his back leg. And the coach, who saw him pointing at the bench, sitting McDowell down on the bench, and he is done for the game. And the Bulldogs have got their first the Southern Division victory over Howard University. He said the one who made the first mistake was going to lose in this game with all of the turnovers, the interceptions on both sides of the ball. In the end, it was that missed extra point that has really hurt the Bison. The score, the Bulldogs, 34. Howard 27. <laughs> Extra point is good. Great kick. 35-27. Victory for the Bulldogs. And we called Coach Ronald Baker after the game. And the coach seemed to be really upset. Um, coach, we, we caught the coach over on the sideline talking with his players. The coach was very disappointed. And after asking the coach what happened there in the fourth quarter, the coach just said that the team was demoralized and he was trying to get the guys to settle down and, and when you're in a high pressure game like this, you just make some bad mistakes and he said, you know, they just had some bad breaks, um, throwing that interception and missing the extra point and just some missed keys and that just caused things to get out of sync. They felt like they could pull this game out and things just didn't go their way, but the Bison I'm looking forward to next week, their next game against the Florida A&M Rattlers. So the Bison, they're going to have to get things back together. And Coach says that he's going to make sure that the guys are more prepared. They came in um, targeting the leading running back, the leading rusher, Joel Brown, in the FedEx Conference. And they were able to contain him, but they were just not able um, to contain the other weapons on the Bulldog side. And we're over here with Coach Bernie Jones and the fourth and one impact player of the game, James Henry, over 165 yards rushing, a lot of yards passing, MVP for the game. Coach, what was your take on this game coming into the second half? What was your strategy on dealing with the team? How did you guys pull it out? Well, we, we knew that 
initially, uh, they were focusing on Joel Brown, who was the leading rusher in, in this conference. And the first quarter, they weren't letting him break across the offensive line at all. So we knew coming into the second half, uh, I think I mentioned earlier, that we had to open it up a little bit more. So that's what we did. We, we decided to open it up a little more and use uh, some of the other weapons that we have from the team. And finally, you know, uh, at the end, uh, we kind of kind of start to feel like whoever got the break at the end of the game will probably be the team to come out on top. I must give uh, the Bisons uh, credit. They fought hard during the, the pretty much the whole game. It just turned out that toward the end, we got a break. Uh, uh, Clyde Boston uh, ran uh, and returned, returned a kickoff back, which I think was probably the turning point in the game. And then in the last minute or so, uh, when I was one of our senior uh, corners made a key interception there uh, while the quarterback Bison was being pressured by our defense again. So with us opening up just a little bit in the second half, uh, got our offense moving just a bit, and that put that did, I'm sure that did put a little pressure on, on the team. The first game, first game out, and I have to still say that they did a grand job on us. They made us change some things. That's saying a lot for that team. And I, I wish uh, Coach Baker the best in his next half. Peace. Well, there you have it. Coach Bernie Jones, James Henry, the MVP, fourth and one impact player for the game. South Carolina State, 35. Howard University, 27. South Carolina State with their first Southern Division victory. That's going to move them up in the ratings. Don't forget to comment, right, subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Look forward to the Bison's next game against um, Florida A&M Rattlers and the South Carolina State Bulldogs. Their next division game will be the Alabama Crimson Tide. Stay tuned. Be sure to tune in for that game. Thanks for watching.